Cannot believe Magic Planish right now. The hyper in this game has been absolutely mental. I used to love Pokemon Red and Blue and Gold so much, and I can now play it in the real world, sort of. I can go outside and physically look for Pokemon and find them and hunt them down. So that's making me very, very excited. So I'm actually in my room at the moment, so I'm gonna try and set it up with you guys right now and see how that goes. Put my birthday in. So remember to be alert to all times, stay aware of your surroundings. They're probably worried about kids like walking into the street and, oh my God. Anyway, yep, that's fine. <laughs> kids going outside, scary stuff. Uh, yep, send me all that stuff. I accept whatever the hell that said. I have no idea. <gasps> Ooh, Professor, how are you doing? Are you my little helper? Right, did you know that this world is inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon? I didn't. Pokemon can be found in every corner of the earth. Everywhere. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies, some fly in the mountains or the forests or near what or by near water. That's quite cool. So I have to go near water to find water Pokemon. Ooh. Will you help with my research? I will. That's great. I was looking for someone just like you to help. You need to find and collect Pokemon from everywhere. Now choose your style for your adventure. What, you mean the way I'm going to look? Right, I'm going to be a male, because I'm a male. We've got female there as well. So you can change, what's that, skin colour? Cool, cool, cool. Um, hair colour. So you've got brown, blonde, darker brown, red, blue. Oh, blue. Purple, brown. I'm going to stick with brown, be boring. Let's go for brown eyes as well. And got some different hats. It's still the same style, but just slightly different skins, I guess. If you want to call it skins, it's up to you. Yeah, that's, that looks pretty good. I might go for something quite bright. I quite like the red. Let's go for red. I like red. Trousers. Ooh, fancy. Let's go for, again, red again. I'm just going to match it all up. And some orange shoesies. Orange. Uh, orange. That's the newest thing. All Pokemon trainers need some sort of backpack, so there's a few options. A red one, perfect. Yes, are you all set? I'm ready to go into the wastelands. Not the wastelands. <gasps> oh my god, there's Pokemon nearby. What is this? Here's some Pokeballs. Oh my god, what one do we pick? Oh, that's such a hard choice. I like Squirtle. <laughs> I, I do like Squirtle, but I do like Charmander. I don't know. Let's go show up, Charmander. Charmander! Right, so I'm actually in my room right now. I just realised I need to uh, tidy up because this room is a mess. <laughs> Turn the camera on. Oh my god! Right, so apparently he's at my desk. <laughs> so I've got to try and throw this over there. Yes, I got him! <gasps> I got Charmander! Oh my god! We have him! We have Charmander! <gasps> He's being captured! We have him, that's our first po Pokemon! Charmander has been caught! So we got some XP for catching a Pokemon, and a new Pokemon is 500 XP. Nice! Not bad! Registered to your Pokedex. Oh, that is so sweet! Look at him! He's got some Stardust there as well. There's his weight, his height. Obviously he's quite short. Charmander Candy. Ooh. Right. Not bad. We've done it. Congratulations, you caught your first Pokemon. Thank you very much. You are such a talented Pokemon trainer. What should we call you? Ooh. I don't know. I, I would like Game Right, but I'm guessing that's probably taken. So, yeah, Game Right's been taken. So I'm going to go with the real game. Right. A pretty terrible name, but at least if you see me, you can go, oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's great. I'd like to be called that. I'm, I'm guessing that's probably not taken. Great, thank you for the cool name. You, you will need Pokeballs and other useful items during your expiration. You can find these items at the Poke Stops. Okay, that's like the weird little square thingy. It's like a little shop. Uh, you'll find these in interesting places, sculptures and monuments. I don't really have any sculptures near me, but okay, cool. Um, from now on, we're going to explore all over the world and catch Pokemon and register them in your in your Pokedex. It's time to go. <gasps> We've done it. So now we can walk around and move around. That, that's our avatar. Yay! So apparently, we have these Pokemon nearby. So we've got a Caterpie and Pidgey. Great. And here's our... Is that like a shop? Oh, look, oh my god. So we need... Is that 10 gold coins? 
I think you can actually put money into this game as well, so that's something. I think the max amount apparently is eighty pounds. What for fourteen? Basically fifteen thousand coins. That that that's a that's a lot of money. That's a lot. So we've got some incense, which is basically a way to lure the Pokemon in, the wild ones, for around 30 minutes. Uh, Pokeballs, 50. Um, what else do we have? A Pokemon, of course. We have Charmander. Yay! <laughs> uh, no eggs, but I guess we can find some eggs. So what we'll do now is mic myself up. The audio might not be that great, I'm going to be honest. But if you guys want to see me do that, I can go outside, explore, and play Pokemon Go. What is this madness? This is crazy. So this is me. You can look around. What the hell's that? That red thing. See it? That's that. That's pretty far away though. That's really far. I don't know what it is though. What is it? Is that Pidgey? What is that? Oh, it's a gym. What? Come back when you've reached level five. Oh my god, you got be. That's a gym. So I got to walk fairly far. It's not too far. But there's a gym there. What? 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 That is crazy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, very, very short first part. I'm going to head outside, hopefully, and record Pokemon Go outside. That sounds crazy. Anyway, bye-bye.